Hi guys, I'm here to make you guys a video about how to set up your Turtle Beach X32 to your um, Xbox, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says um, Xbox right here. So um, I'm going to set it up for you guys. So I'm going to tell you guys what you need. You need your X32s. You need your piggyback um cables and make sure that it has a 3.5 millimeter um input mail on the other end and then you need your chat cord all of this comes in with the box if you guys don't have it and you're buying it off of ebay make sure you have these but this is your mic cord it has 3.5 millimeter mail and it has this little box right here so you gotta make sure you got that and you need your dual band wi-fi um turtle beach router so you guys are going to need that so i'm going to tell you the first step and it requires you having the uh, router On the end, other end of the router, you will see a USB plug. Okay, and you want to plug this into your Xbox, which is located to the right of the big button. Alright, once it's plugged in, you'll have a flashing light on your um, router. Now the next step requires your piggyback cables. Now you need the 3.5 millimeter um, cable. You need to plug it into the line in right there. Line in. It's the first one to the plug where you plugged it into the USB. And with th with this side of the piggyback cables, you want to put this in the back of your TV. Sorry, some of my cables are uh, tied up. Alright, so now whenever you've got your piggyback cables that look like this, I'm going to put this into my TV by putting it into the same color. You should have two, a pair of these already in your TV. And all you have to do is you just have to put these two in first and the other two of the same color on the back of them. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, um, it's done. It shouldn't take that long to plug in, and it still has a flashing light. Make sure it's still in the line in. If it's not, then it won't work. Now you will need your Turtle Beach X32s. And your chat cable. that has the 3.5mm, uh, no, the 2.5mm um, plug. The one that's straight goes into the headset, which is located, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right there. Okay. So the straight one goes into that. And make sure it's in there all the way. And the other side of it goes into your controller. This allows the mic to work. So I'll go get my controller. Alright, so with the other side of the plug, plug it into the remote, which is right there. You know, that will allow your microphone. What we did with this is we made it that the audio will work. 
Now, keep in mind the X32, they have wireless. So you can put this anywhere you want as long as you're four to five feet away from it. It won't work. So you have to keep kind of close to it. Alright, now, next to your mic, which is right here, you'll see a black button. Here, I'll move my mic a little bit. Alright, you'll see a black button, right there. You hold on to it a little while, it will flash green, and then it will flash green every second. This means that it's on. And plus, also, with your wireless router, dual band, it stays on. It doesn't flash. Now, you're ready to use it, you hear audio, and you can use the microphone. I'll test the audio right now so you guys can hear it. It might be a little bit loud from the Xbox. When the Xbox is turned on, it like makes this like weird sound, so I'm, I'm, you might not be able to hear me very well, but you'll be able to hear the headset. Just waiting for it to turn on. Alright, so my Xbox is completely muted, so it's all from the headset. Alright, so it's all the way turned up, and tell me if you guys can hear this. I'll make a noise. Here. Might take a while to hear the noise, but here. Now you should be able to hear it. I don't know if you can. Yeah, but there you go. So that's real steel. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and you could put your wireless router anywhere. Mine's about there. And um, thank you guys for watching, and um, peace out. See ya.